Okay, in this video we're going to draw similar figures. So let's start with this triangle, okay? And it says AB is proportional to DF, okay? So once again, I mean, you can uh, print off this grid paper and use it, or you can use grid paper of your own, or you can just try and do it on plain paper, I guess. But it'd be nice if you had some so sort of grid paper, it'd be nice. You don't have to. But it'd be nice if you did make it make it easier. Anyway, okay. So AB is proportional to DF. AB is this line that goes from A to B. This line here. Okay. What we're going to do is count the squares. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This distance from A to B is five. Okay. Now we're going to count the squares from D to F. This line here, D to F. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I got the five here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen squares. Okay, from here to here. So if it's five squares length from here to here and fifteen from here to here, and we want to draw a similar shape where this side is is proportional to this side and you know it means that this new triangle needs to be what's 15 over 5 it's 3 isn't it 3 times bigger than this triangle okay so if the ace if look look at the ac length how far is that 1 2 if that's going to be 2 look this side is three times bigger. This side down here has to be three times bigger as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this side length has to be six long. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And and always make your points where the uh, lines meet at a corner. You see what I mean? Make your dots where there's corners where the lines meet. Okay. Anyway. So that's six, and uh, you know we don't actually have to measure this diagonal line anyway. It'd be kind of hard to measure it actually. It's the square root of uh, twenty-five. It's the square root of twenty-nine is what it is, but which is a difficult thing to uh, to calculate. So we, we just do all we need is this, and now all we have to do is draw a line through, and then we have the triangle, right? So just get a, some sort of a ruler or something, and then you just draw a line. Oops from here to here and that's it there's your answer right okay so just want to remind you the uh, a similar figure means you have the exact similar figures means you have the exact same shape but the figures are a different size okay and they might be bigger that or they might you know one might be bigger than the other uh, well, well you know you might be finding the bigger one or you might be finding a smaller one okay but they have the exact same shape so the same angles and everything so like these are similar because you know this is these are both right angles these angles are the same right here and here this this corresponds to this these angles are the same okay so the exact similar figures the exact same shape different size okay so we'll do this one now and it says AB is proportional to DE okay so the first thing we do is we um, in other words it's going to be a smaller triangle right with the same shape so AB, we're going to measure it now. It is one, two, three, four, five, six units long. Okay, and DE is one, two units long. Okay. Now it's hard to measure the diagonals, but in this case, what I would suggest is you would go from here to here and measure this distance. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's a length of nine units from this point to this point. Okay. Now, what happened with the scale? We went the big triangle this length is six, and that went all the way down to two. Okay. Um, so our length in this direction needs to be the same amount less. 
So this is a third, isn't it? I divided by three. Six divided by three gives two. So what do you think this new length should be? To keep it all proportional. It's nine in the big triangle. What should it be in the small triangle? Well, what's nine divided by three? Six over two is, or six divided by three gives the two, right? But nine divided by three gives three. So it should be three units long, okay? So I make a dot and our new, this triangle should go like that. Okay. Um, let's look at a rectangle example and then a house example. By all means press pause and, and do it yourself or try and do it faster than me or whatever you like to do. I'm going to go nice and slowly though. AD is proportional to EF. Okay. So AD is how long? One, two, three for five units long, okay? And EF is how long? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units long. So AD is five long, EF is ten units long. So I'm going from a smaller rectangle to a bigger rectangle. And the side lengths are going to double or triple, which to get from 5 to 10 you're doubling, right? You're doubling, right? So we should double everything. So this side length should double as well. Right now this side length is 2. So what should it be here? How long should it be? Should it be 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And of course this side should also be 1, 2, 3, Four long because this is after all a rectangle so these have to be the same length right and then of course you just join these up and then that's your similar figure and of course this is also ten long right so four uh, four four ten ten and this one was five five two two right and how about this house over here AB is proportional to GF. So this, from here to here, this line is proportional to GF. Okay, so can you do this one? Press pause and see if you can figure this one out. I, I guess I'll help you out. Uh, this is one, two, three, four. This is four units long. And this is one, two units long. Okay, so please press pause and see if you can do that one. Oh, I, I should count some more. Sorry, this is one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 units from here to here. I'll give you that much. Okay. So can you get... Uh, how long do you think this length should be? Down here. Well, this house... This is a bigger house than this one, isn't it? Because if, if this length corresponds to this length, looks like the house is getting smaller. How much smaller? This length is going from 4 to 2. So it's halving, isn't it? Getting half the length. What's half of ten? One, two, three, four, five, right? So that's that. And of course, this length over here is the same. It's four, and so this length has to be the same as this one, too, right? So we get that much of it. How about the roof? What are we going to do about the roof? Well, it's very hard to measure the diagonal uh, the diagonals, but uh, what we could do is do a dotted line across here and see how far this is from the horizontal line there. It is one, two inches from here to here, isn't it? So we're going to do a dotted line across, and we said that all the lengths were halving, didn't we? So this length also will half will have an oh my goodness one little mistake I I can didn't I didn't want this to happen but okay it needs to be one high but it has to be halfway between here and here doesn't it this is halfway see it's on the five mark right so halfway is in fact two and a half we actually have to go in between two lines you won't have to do that in your homework by the way and the point is just up here so there we go so it's one high and uh, it's halfway between here and here and you just go up one and then that's that point okay